Okay guys, we are here to talk on how to take measurement for a cemento top. And here is my model. I'm going to use him to show you guys how to take measurement for cemento top. You know how, when you want to take measurement, the first thing you do is to take is length measurement. Now from this point, this is your long, right? I hope you can see it clearly. It's down to where you want it to stop. Either 33, 36, 40, 50, 60, 70, 80, 90, 100, 200, 300, 400, 500, 600, 700, 800, 900, 1000, 1000, 1000, 1000, 1000, 1000, then you wrap it around his chest. I hope you can see that. And make sure you put one finger inside to ensure that there is space. Oh, this is it. Okay, so his chest is 38. Then you add four inches allowance to it, making it 42. Now you do the same thing down to his tummy. This is his waist. Put your finger inside and swipe it a little round the tummy just to ensure that there is space then you add four inches to it which is 33 and a half now go to the hip do the same thing as well and add four inches which is you can see what I'm getting 20, 35 and a half plus four inches will give you 34 39 and a half then he turns his shoulder you take your shoulder from the shoulder joint to the other shoulder joint which is giving us 18 the shoulder to shoulder 18 all right i hope you can see that all right then you take towards this side to measure his sleeve now remember the sleeve starts from where the shoulder ends down to where you want the short sleeve to stop now this is our appropriate place where we want our short sleeve to stop as 10. Then put your hand here. Then take it right down to a little above the wrist, which is 25 and a half. All right, can you see it? Then that's it. Then you go over to the round sleeve. This is, you know, for couplings, you place it this way, nine and a half. Then for round sleeve, you place it this way and add two inches to it, which is ten. For conflicts, is nine and a half. I hope you're seeing what I'm doing. Then you go over to the muscle, place it right round and ask him to fold his arm. Right. So that will make you make it more easier for you to know if it's too tight or too loose on him. So this is thirteen and a half. For his um for his um muscle then you go over to the arm over take it right round you can see how i'm placing the tape over to the top part of his shoulder now bring the hand a little down and then measure take it up a little bit about one and a half inches away from from the the, the body then it's giving us 19 and a half. I hope you can see that. So this is how to measure the arm hole. Then the next thing you do is to take your neck measurement. There are two different ways of taking the neck measurement. We have the collar measurement and then we have the round neck measurement. For the round neck measurement, you can see how I'm placing the tape down to this bone, right? Which is giving us 16 and a half and then for the color measurement you can see how i'm placing the neck tape ensure that he doesn't choke just by putting one finger inside and then this is 15 15 and a half all right that is for his shirt neck and then 16 and a half for his round neck all right so by so doing you will tell yourself if i get the shirt neck of 17 then i add one inch to it and by then i would have gotten the round neck of 18 just for the person thank you very much guys this is where we wrap up for measuring a senator tool and you know what subscribe like share turn on the notification button and put your comment in the comment box thanks for watching